Hi, my name is Julia and welcome to today's practice, Yoga for Beginners. Yoga is for everyone. It doesn't matter what age you are, if you're active or not. And this is a good starting point for if you are a beginner because we'll be doing a lot of core poses today. So this will help you set up a good foundation. And once you get these poses, then you could start building up to more poses that are a little more advanced. And even if you are advanced, this is good to come back to because it can help you check your alignment, make sure you're doing the poses right because you don't want to get any injuries while you're practicing. So we'll start today with our legs crossed. Sitting in an even stance, you could bring your hands to your knees, feel more grounded, sit with a long spine, feel your sit bones grounding into the earth, and feel your spine lengthening away from that place. Just take a couple of breaths here as you settle in. We'll begin with chanting Om, which is the sound of all sounds. It's the sound of the wind. It's the sound of the rain. It's the sound of laughter. So it's composed of three sounds, ah, ooh, and mm. So when you put them all together, you get OM. Just take a normal inhale, normal exhale, inhale, OM. Inhale, OM. We'll do it one more time because three is a very sacred number and just like letters in OM, the A, the U, and the M. So last one, inhale. This is a very good way before practice to help us get centered, create some vibrations that loosen up our insides, get us ready for the practice. So today we'll be doing a beginner vinyasa practice. So vinyasa means a sequence that you place in a special way. So we'll be doing a few vinyasas. We like to keep what's called ujjayi breathing. So that's a breathing with a constriction in the back of the throat. So I want you to take your hand in front of your face. So just take a regular inhale, and then exhale through the mouth. Picture yourself fog like you're fogging up a mirror. Take a couple more of those, inhale through the nose, and then exhale through the mouth. So now we'll do it this time, except Feel that construction in the back of your throat when you exhale through the mouth. And we'll try to do that without opening up the mouth. So inhale. And this is sometimes called ocean breath. So on the inhale, picture waves receding towards the ocean. And then you exhale, picture the waves crashing onto the shore. Inhale. Exhale, the waves crashing. Kind of sounds like the noise when you put a shell to your ear too. So we wanna to try to keep that breath throughout the practice. I know it's gonna be hard, especially if this is your first time doing it, but the more you try it, the better you'll get. But for now, just turn towards the short end of your mat, come to hands and knees. Here you wanna have your fingers spread wide and your hands right under your shoulders. You wanna have your knees right under your hips. So right now we're in a neutral spine. On your inhale, lift the tailbone, look up. And on your exhale, tuck the tailbone, tuck the head round the back for cat. Inhale, lift the tailbone, arch the back, look up for cow. Exhale, drop the head around the back, 
Tuck the tailbone, press away from the earth. Inhale, tailbone lifts. Look up. Exhale, drop the head, round the back. Press away from the earth. Bring your belly button towards your spine. And then on your inhale, just come back to a neutral spine. Press weight into the left hand. Send the left foot back behind you. Just stay on the toes for a moment. Lift the right arm up. And on your inhale, lift the left leg to join in for extended cat-cow. Take an inhale here. Then exhale, bring elbow towards knee. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, bring opposite elbow to opposite knee. Inhale, stretch the leg out, stretch the arm out. Exhale, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Inhale, and then exhale, lower down, come back to table. Okay, press weight into the right hand. Send the right foot back. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale for a moment. Then inhale, lift the right leg. Look forward, stay long here. Inhale, exhale, opposite knees, opposite elbow. Inhale, look forward, bring the leg back. Exhale, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, Exhale, inhale, lift back up, and then exhale, return to tabletop. From here, walk the hands forward about a handprint. We'll come on to the toes, and then slowly begin to lift the knees, and then lift the hips all the way back to downward facing dog. So in downward facing dog, we wanna make sure that our hands are shoulder distance apart and our feet are hips width. Okay, so if you wanna make sure that your alignment is right here, you can inhale, come forward to plank. So if you're in a, the right plank position, that this means that you're in the right down dog position. So if you're not, you might need to step your feet a little bit more in or a little bit more out. And look forward. We're gonna drop the knees to the floor and then sink our hips back for child's pose. So here, there's not really any way to do this pose wrong. Whatever feels good for your body. If you wanna bring the knees in more or bring the knees out more. See if you could walk your fingertips forward a little more. You walk the hands in, come back onto the knees, and back to downward facing dog. Okay. Inhale, look forward between your hands, and we'll slowly step our feet up to the front of the mat. Inhale, come to your fingertips, look forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press into your feet, rise all the way up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, then hands to side body. Here, we'll take our feet hip distance apart, so you might need to heel toe your feet a little bit. From here, bend into the knees. Bring your arms to your side like airplane arms for a diver stretch. This pose is a really good foundation pose for many of our other yoga poses because during our poses, we want to keep the spine lengthening. We want to keep the, sh the chest open. We don't want to round the back. Okay. Exhale, come to standing. So once again, make sure that your feet are hip distance apart. We'll bring our hands to our hips. Inhale, bring the elbows towards each other, open up the chest. Then exhale, slowly fold forward, bringing your hands to the earth or to blocks. Now you could bend your knees here as much as you need to, 
The goal isn't to have straight legs. The goal is to have the hands on the floor. Just let the head hang heavy here. Hang out with your head below your heart. This in itself is considered an inversion. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, come up with a strong back. We'll set up for some Surya Namaskar A's, some sun salutations. So these in themselves are already considered a yoga practice just because they're such a good warm up. So hands to the side for mountain pose. Exhale. Inhale, bring the arms forward and up. Look up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, come to the fingertips, look forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to plank. Lower the knees and lower all the way down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, hands by low ribs, lift for cobra. Exhale. Pass through child's pose for a moment and then press back for downward facing dog. So that was just the vinyasa that I was talking to, to you guys about before. So that's the sequence that we place in a special way between poses. Inhale, exhale, inhale, look forward between your hands. Ste slowly step your feet up to the front of the mat. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press into the feet. Rise up, look up. Exhale, hands to side body. Inhale, press into the feet. Bring the arms overhead, look up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, come onto the fingertips. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back to plank. Lower the knees. Slowly lower the chest all the way down. Untuck the toes. Hands by low ribs. Press into the hands to lift up for cobra. And exhale. Pass through child's pose for a moment. And then press back to downward facing dog. Look forward between the hands. As you inhale, slowly step the feet up to the front of the mat. Come to the fingertips. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press into the feet. Rise all the way up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands to side body. Bring the feet to hip distance. Stay strong and grounded in your feet. On your inhale, bring the arms up. Grab hold of the left wrist with your right hand. You're gonna shift the hips to the left and then stretch over to the right for side bend. Feel this stretch in your left side body. Inhale back to center. We'll take hold of our right wrist with our left hand. Shift the hips over a little bit to the right and then stretch over to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Release the arms. Now we'll just take a quarter turn to face the long side of our mat. Bring the arms out to parallel. Turn the left foot forward. Keep the right leg where it is. Setting up for warrior two pose. Here you wanna make sure that the back foot is parallel with the short edge of the mat and that the left knee is tracking right over the left ankle. Lift your chest. Looking over the hand. Inhale, straighten the front leg. You might wanna heel toe your back foot in a little bit here. Shift your hips to the right. 
Inhale, send the left arm forward. Bring the hand down to your shin or to a block and lift the right arm up for triangle pose, Trikonasana. Here you wanna picture yourself like you're between two panes of glass. You don't wanna be down here. You wanna make sure you're up here, strong and bright. Look up at the top hand if that's comfortable for you. Exhale, press into the feet, rise up, bend into the front knee, straighten the front leg, turn the left foot in, bringing the feet to parallel, bring the arms out, turn the right foot out, bend into the right knee for warrior two on the right side. So here, once again, you could check your foundation. I want to make sure that the knee is always over the ankle. You don't want the knee here or here. It could really hurt the knee that way. And then make sure that the back foot is parallel with the short edge of the mat. Lift the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Shift the hips to the left. Send the right arm forward and bring it down to your shin or to a block. Lift the left arm up for triangle pose. And you don't wanna lock out the front knee here, so maybe create a slight bend in that right knee. We don't wanna put any pressure on the joints. Inhale, press into the right leg, rise up. Exhale, bend into that front knee again. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Bring the feet to parallel again. We'll bring our hands to our hips. Bring the shoulders towards each other. Inhale, lengthening out the chest, opening up the chest. Exhale, slowly hinge at the hips. Fold forward, bring your hands down. You want your fingers and your toes to be in the same line. Bend the elbows. And if you can't keep your legs straight here, you can always bend the knees. This will help you a little bit. Just let your head hang heavy. If you need to adjust your feet any at all. Send your sit bones towards the sky. Bring your hands to your waist and inhale, slowly come up with a strong back. Step into the left foot, come forward to the front of the mat again. Exhale, hands to side body. Inhale, press into the feet, arms forward and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, inhale, come to the fingertips, lengthen. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to plank, lower the knees, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look far between the hands. Step your feet up and we'll just come to seated from here. Bring your legs straight and long out in front of you, hands to your side. Bring the chest forward. You wanna picture yourself here like an L shape, really steady and strong. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Grabbing onto the feet or grabbing onto the shins. Here, we don't want to round the spine. We want to keep a nice long back. Send your chest forward any amount. It's not important how far you get. It's important how good of a stretch you're getting here.
Inhale, slowly make your way up. Bend the right knee. Open the knee out to the side. And place the right foot onto the left thigh. Inhale. Just bring the right arm, the right hand down onto the outside of the left knee for a little twist. Come back up to center. Inhale and exhale, fold over that left leg. So this one is a little bit easier to do than the one that we just did. So you might get a little bit farther here. But again, we want to go for length. We don't want to go for rounding. Try to keep the sit bones grounded here. The more you ground, the more you can lengthen away. Inhale, slowly make your way up. Exhale, bring the right foot back to meet the left. Inhale, bend the left leg. Open the knee out to the side. Bring the left foot onto the right thigh. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, bring the left hand outside the right knee for a little twist here. Inhale, arms up. Then exhale, fold over that right leg. Grabbing onto the foot or grabbing onto the shin. Bring your chest forward. You can either look towards the toes or drop the head a little bit if you want. Inhale, slowly make your way up. Bring both legs along out in front of you. Bend the right knee. Bring the right foot outside the left. Bring the right arm behind you. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, hook the left elbow onto the right knee for a twist. Look over the right shoulder. You wanna have that back hand close to you to support the spine. You don't wanna be leaning over here. You wanna make sure you're sitting up nice and tall so you can get all the benefits. Inhale, come back to center. Release that. Then the left knee, bring it outside the right. Bring the left arm behind you to support the spine. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, hook the right elbow onto the left knee. Twist towards the left side this time. Twists are very good for digestion. And they help release that that no longer serves us. They help create space in the body. Inhale, come to center. Bring both legs long, just shake out a little bit here. Bring your hands to your side. We'll bend the knees here. So you wanna bring your feet to where your knee creases were. And we'll bring your hands behind us. Here you wanna have your fingertips and your toes facing in the same direction. On your inhale, we'll lift up the lower back for a reverse table. So really press into the feet here to help you lift up. And if you feel comfortable here, you could release the head back at any amount. If not, that's fine. Whatever is comfortable for you. Hold this for about three more breaths. Last one. And slowly release back down. We'll scoot ourselves forward a little bit, preparing to come on to the back. Slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Bring your feet in towards you so you wanna have your heels as close to your body as you can. Bring your arms long to your sides. And on your inhale, lift your lower, middle, and upper back for bridge pose. So here, pressing into the feet like we just did in reverse table will help you lift up more. 
And if you feel comfortable here, if you want to interlace the fingers and roll the shoulders underneath, this also will help you support you a little more. And if this pose is uncomfortable for you or too difficult, you can always place a block underneath the sacrum. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly release this. Bring your feet to the edge of your mat and just bring your knees in towards each other to release the lower back. We'll set up for another one. So bring the feet back to hip distance. On your inhale, lift the lower, middle and upper back. Press into the feet. See if you could lift up a little more. Possibly interlace the fingers underneath. Lifting up, opening your heart, opening your chest. Exhale, slowly release that. Bring the feet out to the edge of the mat. Bring your knees to touch to release the lower back. Bring wide knees in towards your chest. We don't want to bring knees in close because we can hurt the spine here. Just rock a little bit side to side. Now you could bring your knees in towards each other. We'll take our arms out to a T or you could do cactus arms here. Shift your hips a little bit to the right and then bring the knees over to the left. Look over the right shoulder. If possible, try to have both shoulders on the ground here for a nice reclining twist. This is a receiving twist because we don't have to do any work here. Just relax. Inhale, come to center. This time shift your hips over to the left a little bit. And then bring the knees over to the right. Look over the left shoulder. And here you want to make sure that you have the knees above the belly button or else the twist won't be as effective if it's below. Inhale, come to center. Bring your feet wide and then grab onto the outside of your feet for happy baby. Lengthen out the tailbone here. You just rock a little bit side to side. Bring the knees in towards your chest. We're gonna take some rocks up here, but if that's too hard for you, you could always bring the legs out to the side and come up that way. Massage the spine as you rock up. To seated, come through to hands and knees. Come forward and slowly lower all the way down. Bring your hands by your side. Rest onto one cheek for a moment. Inhale, come to center. We'll just play with lifting our chest for now. So lift the hands up off the earth. See how much you could lift your chest here. Hands long and strong behind you. And on your next inhale, see if you could lift the legs too for Shalabhasana, Locust Pose. Look forward, we don't want to crunch the neck here, so keep everything nice and long. Stretch out through your fingers, through your toes. Exhale, slowly release. Rest onto the other cheek. Inhale, come back to center. Lift the chest, lift the arms, lift the legs. Inhale, see if you could lift a little bit higher. And 
And then exhale, slowly release that. And here, just rock the hips a little bit side to side. Now we're just gonna roll over onto our backs. Maybe you'll do it a little bit more gracefully than I did. Bring your legs out long in front of you. Bring your arms to your sides with your palms facing up. We're setting up for a Shavasana, our final resting pose. So here you just wanna get very comfortable, relax, let go of any thoughts. Quiet your mind and quiet your body. Begin to reawaken your body, creating some small movements in the fingers, the toes. Stretch your arms out overhead. Stretch your toes, stretch through your toes, creating a full body stretch. Bend your knees in towards your chest. Roll off to one side. Slowly begin to press yourself up, eyes still low. We'll come back to seated, just like we did when we began the class. Bring your hands to heart center. Bow your head. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.